literacy is so important for Mississippi prisoners and Mississippi as a whole because we have one of the highest rates of illiteracy among our population. And if we ever expect you know, incarcerated individuals to be a productive member of society, they have to learn to read and write. A group from North Carolina came and presented a puppet show, and the puppet show was a beautiful and horrifying history of the criminal justice system and prisons. They showed us all of the requests that they had from prisoners in Mississippi to send them books, and uh, they were not able to fulfill those requests. So they asked if anyone in Mississippi would be interested. So a lot of us signed up that day, and very few of few of us remained when the work started. Big House Books is a lot about, you know, giving people an outlet to escape from the present situation, educate themselves, but I think it's a little bit more than just that. It's letting people know that we're there and we're supporting them and we want them to know that Mississippians are cheering them on and that we want them to become their own advocates because we're advocating for them as well. I work for a nonprofit for my day job. Our organization has a thrift store, and Bridget uh, has worked at that thrift store for two years as an inmate. Um, she was recently released over the summer um, after 10 years of being incarcerated, and we hired her as an employee. So, um, so now um, I still get to work with Bridget, but in a uh, much more positive and different context. But this store has helped me because I, I didn't know what I was going to do, but God blessed me with this. So, you know, I'm going to try to keep this job and not let them down and just continue to go forward. How, how, look, a dollar? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I have my bad days, but it's for the better. Just things of life that I wasn't used to no more, just being a reality, okay, it kind of stresses me out, but I just stay prayed up because I made it through that, so I feel like I can make it through anything. I wouldn't even change my life because if I wouldn't have never got incarcerated, I wouldn't have the knowledge that I have now, especially if I wouldn't have got caught doing what I was doing. If they do give books, it'll help. It'll keep down a lot, of, a lot of things, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. At the Mississippi Book Festival, we had a booth and got to talk to a lot of people. And one of those people was George, who was a previously incarcerated Mississippian who I got to talk and meet with. And he gave a really gracious donation to us because, you know, he understands the importance of, you know, what books can do in a prisoner's life. I spent about two months in solitary confinement and with nothing to do, locked in a cell, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I knew what it was like to really be starving for something to read. There was a six-man cell. It had six bunks, and there were already seven people there. So all the bunks were taken. There was a mattress on the floor with one person, and then they brought me a little thin mattress to put on the floor. Probably my second or third night in the cell was one of them came to me after dark, real quiet, and whispered, can you write me a letter? He was totally illiterate. He could not read or write anything. So he talked real low, and I ran his writer, wrote a letter to his mother. A couple nights later, then another one would come, and another one would come. None of them could read or write. But I had been there about a week, and had been writing letters for them. And when a bunk came open, they gave it to me. I had something they didn't have, and I could read. Prison is, can be a very, very cruel and lonely place, a terrible place. And I hear a lot, well, lock them up, throw away the key. There needs people's society seems to think it needs to be just terrible conditions to, as punishment. Well, all that does is generate worse people. When they come out, they're worse than when they came in. They're going to commit, commit more crime. So I would like to see is a change in the attitude them figured out definitely tried it before you take the label on. Each package we send is is a small gesture and also really changes their frame of mind um, when they receive them. So not only are we giving someone a gift but we're letting someone know that we care and we recognize that they exist and they matter and we want to help and we want them to help themselves more importantly. The easiest way to help Big House Books you know further our mission 
it's really just small contributions, you know, $10 here, $20 there. You know, on average, it takes about $4 to send a package to a prisoner. And that's a cup of coffee at some places. And so, you know, if you have $20 a month to, to contribute to a nonprofit, why not send five packages to a Mississippi prisoner? Thank you. Come to one of our bookpacking parties and meet the people who are basically requesting from us through their letters. That's probably the best way to like very low time commitment, um, make a big difference in people's lives. Mississippi prisoners are people. They're people just like us. You know, they, they span the realm of misdemeanor, you know, shoplifting charges all the way up to capital murder. And no one prisoner is a lot is alike. They all have dreams and aspirations and they all have a personality and they and they're looking for their outlet and they're looking to learn and grow as a person. Mm -hmm.